Welcome to The Daily Me, the place for insights into life and business. Hello there, wonderful people. This is Rick Nusky and this is The Daily Me Show. It's great to have you with us today. Hey, listen, yesterday I had one of those days that, you know, I hit some peaks early in the morning. You know, I've made some new connections with new guests that are coming onto the show. So I'm super excited about that happening. And I'm always excited as the host of the My Future Business Show to have these opportunities to work with great people who are doing amazing things inside their businesses with their books and ventures and whatever else they're into. Now, on the flip side of that, my day took a bit of a turn (laughs) and I realized that with my secondary business, it's to the side, um, I had some problems. I, I what I found is that I went into one of my websites and I went to update it and put some more information on there about things. And what I found is that this big red box saying, your licenses are no longer valid. You must subscribe to update and you know whatever else I need to do to the website. So I'm panicking thinking the sum total of all the plugins related to this one business added up to five different things. I had the theme and I had five or six different plugins associated with that business as well. So this was a solid three, 300 US a year that this was gonna cost me. Now, I've always advocated, you know, when you're starting up looking for opportunities to, I guess, get your system set up the most cost effective way you can. But I want to bring to the fore the perils of free or the perils of lifetime deals. Because I think over time, once your, your business matures, you should really think be thinking about how can I go to a more, more robust setup in terms of the software and the products and services that I'm using to run my business. If you pay once, then that one payment goes to a business, regardless of what product or services, software, whatever it is, that goes into their coffers once. Once that money's absorbed, no longer are, are they seeing any benefit from supporting your business for that product or service. Now, to me, that's dangerous because, and it only became apparent to me when I had this issue. So it's fortunate though that I found out that what had happened is that the licensing behind this particular system that I use and the themes and the plugins the licensing software uh, server behind this software had crashed. So for those who were paying monthly fees, because I bought this many, many years ago and I was supporting the business when they were starting up by buying uh, all this all this software and it was, it's been great. It's been faultless, it's always updated and all these things. But what had happened is because of that crash, it crashed my website and then all of a sudden I had these error codes and licensing questions and all this stuff and I thought hang on what's going on here luckily for me it turns out that it was a glitch in their system and it was no problem I just had to disconnect reconnect and away I went but it really got me to thinking about you as a startup or even an existing business I've always advocated for um, startups trying to bootstrap it as much as you can and this means you know looking at lifetime deals but i think there has to be an extra dimension for this to be um wise advice i think the trend there must be a transition from free software let's just focus on software for the moment there must be a transition away from that free base to a win-win situation subscription base now that's tough coming from me because i don't like paying for subscriptions just like Probably probably 90% of the people I speak with don't like paying for subscriptions. They'd rather pay for something once and that's it. They get to use it for life. In a perfect world, yeah, that's, that's that would be great. But the reality is once you pay that once, that, that business is, that is providing that product or service is not getting thing, anything from supporting you. If in a win-win situation, you pay for a subscription for that product service software, and then you get that ongoing support, you get more response, the business behind that product or service is being supported, therefore they have more momentum, more financial wherewithal to continue serving your business. Um, And you have a little bit more confidence knowing that if something goes wrong, I have help available to me, I can contact somebody, and I know that there is a business behind it that's willing to help me because I'm part of their, their business base. So, Make that 
commitment to yes if you're starting out get some ltds some lifetime deals just to get you going because it's amazing software is amazing it's my whole world but there's an issue you have to really be planning from day one to to for the end of that software to to occur now that might scare you to the point um, that oh hey i don't want to do this at all and that's fine go straight into subscription base if you can afford it but if you can't go through that process, you know, I've seen software LTDs up to up to a decade that they've lasted, but some have lasted less than 12 months. I mean, there was another one recently that had changed their terms and conditions because they said this particular version of a, of a webinar software that I, I purchased many years ago, then their platform was no longer being supported. Uh, this version that I had was no longer being supported. By the way, nothing had changed inside their platform. That's just what they said. Now, if that be the case, can you imagine the devastation that you would go through if you'd spend all this time and, and money setting up these systems around these LTDs, then progressively you have to redo them, rechange them, swap them out for subscription base. So as your business makes money, yes, you've got your LTDs and only buy the minimum that you need right now to get sales coming through the door with your podcast marketing. Focus on that right now. Minimum chips. You don't want more than you need. And then over time, as you have that revenue stream building, allocate some of that for budgeting, uh, budget some of that for future subscriptions, because I think it'd be one of the wisest moves you could make. So I hope you like this call. I hope you got some value out of this because these are real life insights. Um, and if you want to ask me a question, I invite you to, please do. There's below below this um, box here, by this call, no matter where you see it, there's going to be a link where you can click one button, uh, click a link and actually ask me questions. Um, and they will inform upcoming episodes and I, I look forward to receiving those questions. So hope you enjoyed today's call and up until tomorrow, see you then.